Peace be unto you in Jesus' name. Here we have another beautiful verse. And this one is from Psalm 33, verse 4. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. Reading through this verse will look very simple, but the meaning and the depth of it is very, very big. So, let me just get you into this one. And if you look here, you can find right. So, the Lord, the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. So, here, the fact is what the Lord says is right, and the action is his work is done in truth. So this truth and righteousness, they mingle together here and it can't be separated. So they are complementing each other. What is right is true and what is true is right. And that's what we can uh, say and it, it can't be separated. So if you ever think to yourself, you know, and, and you'll say, I need to know what is true. So every man has this one. He wants to find the truth, what the other people are saying, whether it is true or not. So truth in the people. And they always want to know the truth about themselves. Who am I? What is that? You often go to your father or mother or parents or teachers. They'll ask what I was, what did I do? To find the truth about your parents, about your ancestry. You always would like to find the truth about yourself. And that's one thing. And you always want to find the truth in this world. The world might say so many things, but it might be false. And you want to find the truth there. And again, you want to find the truth about the future. Well, what is in store for me? What will happen? And what will happen after three years, five years, ten years? And things like that. What is going to happen in the future? And also, you would also like to know the truth about your past. What was I? Where? How did I come about? What was my past? And also, truth about the good life. And ultimately, truth about God. This is where each man would like to go into. Finding the truth, finding the truth within himself, finding the truth around him, finding the truth about him, that is God. And that is where you come to God's word and that teaches what is true. You know, it is God's word which is true, which will teach what is true. And that's why Jesus says in John chapter 17, verse 17, he says this, Sanctify them by your truth, your word is truth. Look at that. So that truth is very important. So what happens with that truth? See, let me read to you again from John chapter 8, that's verses 31 and 32 for you. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if you abide my word, and you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Look at that. That truth will make you free, free from bondage, free from sin, free from every other evil thing. That truth will set you free. So powerful is the word of God that whatever is tied around you, it will set you free. And that is the righteous thing of the truth. My dear children, so this is a very, very important thing in our life. So that truth is what we desire to have. See, let me just read to you another verse as well. And this one, as you can see, comes from Numbers. And you can see that. And before that, I will also like to enlighten you with another verse from 1 Kings chapter 8, 56. Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he promised there has not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised through his servant Moses. Look at that. So the Lord promises. And he is a Lord who doesn't lie. Well, because his word is always true. And 
Not one word of all the good things that is spoken has, has, has not been fulfilled. So how good it is and how truthful it is. So you can know that Lord always speaks truth. And you know, there is a saying, you are only as good as your word. This means that your words depends on your integrity. God is as good as his word. So his word is truth and he's always truthful and he's righteous and is always right. So that is what the word of God in Numbers 23, 19 says. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Mother children, so look at that word. So he doesn't lie, because he is a God of truth, and he always speaks truthfulness. And, you know, there are some things God cannot do, and one of them is that he cannot lie. Because he's a truthful God. His word is truthful. If he speaks it, he will do it. If he promises it, he will make sure that it comes to pass. When you understand that God's word is absolutely true, then you can begin to receive it exactly as it is written and you can receive it as true. And that is what is for you. My dear children, so today we have come to know the truthfulness, the righteousness of God. And once again, we meditate on it. The psalmist knows very much about it. That's what his verse says. So the word of the Lord is right and his work is done in truth. So trust in his word and let the word lead you and let the word lead you to all truth. And may the Lord set you free and guide you and guard you and protect you. And when the truth is there in your life, everything else is clear for God is set it free and God is leading in the right direction and he will take you through ultimately to eternal life let me pray for you. Heavenly Father and thank and praise you for this wondrous day Lord you are truthful and your words are true and whatever you have promised us everything of that will come to pass in our life not one of them is lie because you do not lie Lord we know that every bit of your word is truthful and that is right. And we trust and believe and we inherit every blessing of yours. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.